I finally got a chance to play Body Cam, a hyper-realistic body cam style FPS being built on Unreal Engine 5. This type of game went viral last year when we saw the first trailer for a game called Unrecord, which is a single player kind of narrative driven body cam FPS. Since then, we've seen a few of these realistic shooters pop up, with Body Cam taking that initial unrecord concept, but turning it into a multiplayer shooter. And it's one of the most immersive FPS experiences that I've ever played in my life. Truth be told, I wasn't sold on the game style when I first saw on record. The gunplay looked clunky, the player controller kind of looked abysmal, and I wasn't sure how the controls would translate to a mouse and keyboard, and needless to say, I was 100% right in my concerns. Body Camp does a decent job of making it feel realistic, but there's definitely some quirks when it comes to the movement. You'll see in a lot of my gameplay in this video, the hardest part of the game is overcoming the fact that your aim is set to a small degree of rotation in the center of your body to imitate that body cam experience. And when you rotate the mouse one way while moving your character in the opposite, it creates a strange feeling, one that you can break like this almost instantly in its current state. But once you get it down, you can manage it enough to where you can remain competent in firefights. The visuals here are the best I've ever seen if we're talking about like pure realism. Keep in mind, a lot of the environments in this game are asset packs built to showcase the power of Unreal Engine, and they haven't really been changed at all. So when you're talking about multiplayer level design, there really isn't a lot of design going on here. The maps do look gorgeous, but for the ones I was able to play, they kind of just play like trash. But it's because they aren't built to play well, they're showcase maps from the Unreal Marketplace. The game right now doesn't have a loadout system, so each round spawns you with a random weapon to use. The weapon models look fantastic, and with the realistic depth of fields and the blur effects on them, it really brings you into the experience. On top of that, as the rounds continue on in a match, the game goes from day to night, so you could be starting in the middle of the daytime, and five or six rounds in, you're in pitch black needing to use flashlights and it turns into a literal horror game. With this, the audio here blew my mind. My first game, I was playing a 1v1, which you guys will see later in this video, and I was able to hear footsteps and creaks above my head and able to track the players pretty accurately. Gunshots and grenades have that oomph and they sound incredibly realistic. The dynamic sound and the line traces they're using for reflective audio here, like it all just comes together very well. And I'm not sure if this is something that's out of the box on the marketplace or if this was done in house, but man, Sometimes in my gameplay, you'll see me genuinely get scared from a gunshot or a grenade and then I have to take it very slow just due to how real it all felt. Honestly, I'm sold on the concept now that I've been able to actually play it and feel it and I'm almost sold on the execution. The worst part of this test has been the servers, which is why they're doing a 24 hour closed test. I've yet to be able to finish a game simply because I end up either getting disconnected or the other people get disconnected or the server just shuts down completely. So for a stress test, I'm sure that they've received a ton of great info that they can use to make the game better. I'm also not sure if I'm sold on the idea of a team deathmatch style game. I wanna see some objectives actually get played here. Right now, it's a very simple concept, which don't get me wrong, I do enjoy, but what I'm not sure of is the staying power of a game like this when you don't have really anything going on outside of just shooting weapons. This really makes me wanna see what future games are going to utilize this tech for. Like imagine this, but you're playing a game like Squad with large scale destruction and 40, 50, 60 player servers, or you're playing a game like Escape from Tarkov, which I think would be fucking insane with the visuals and the realistic feeling 
of a game like this. With that said, I think you guys have to experience this game for yourself. I'm gonna leave some gameplay here, but just know when you get a chance to test this game for the first time, I, I highly recommend jumping in and seeing what, in my opinion, is a part of the future of FPS gaming. This is some gameplay from last night's playtest. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, go to their Steam page. I believe you can request access to the playtest, but by the time this video goes out, there might not be a lot of time left, but just keep up with their development via Discord or socials. And like I said, when you get a chance to play it, you got to jump in. My name is Big Fry. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoy it. Subscribe for more FPS content. And this is Body Cam.